with your glory and grace by your mercy oh lord i live to worship you i'm amazed at your glory and grace by your mercies oh god i live to worship you hallelujah hallelujah Joy, joy, joy in the presence of the Lord singing.
Get a partner. Uh -huh. Get a partner. You know what you tell him. Uh -huh. You are now we serve the Lord. You are now we serve the Lord. And you are now.
There is something that makes me come into your presence. Your favor that makes me come. Your healing, your breakthrough, your deliverance that makes me come into your presence. Hey, come, 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 come. There is something that makes me come into your presence. Oh. Yeah. 
believe. If it is says me, I face you. Ah. Hey, in your environment, even though you have your personal house. Hey, 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 hey. He makes me wonder. Hey. Hey.
Let's lift up our hands and thank him. We worship you, Lord. Mm. Hallelujah. His blood avails for me. 
I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Hallelujah. His blood avails for me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Hallelujah. His blood avails for me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Hallelujah. His blood avails for me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Hallelujah. His blood avails for me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Hallelujah. His blood avails for me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Hallelujah, His blood avails for me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Hallelujah, His blood avails for me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind. But now I see. Lift up your hands. Jesus is Alpha, Alpha, Omega. So I praise Him for His Alpha, Alpha, Omega. Jesus is Jesus is Alpha, Alpha. For his Alpha, Alpha, Omega. So praise him for his Alpha, Alpha, Omega. So I praise him for his Alpha, Alpha, Omega. So I praise him for his Alpha, Alpha. Lift up your hands and thank him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. His crowd eyes the Lord. Oh, come, let us adore Oh, come, let us adore He is I the Lord Lift up your hands and thank Him be it unto me according to your words, according to your promises, I can stand secure. Have upon my head the truth that set me free, according to your words, O oh Lord. I'm standing on the word of God. The word of God is power. 
I'm standing on the word of God. The word of God is power. I'm standing on the word of God. The word of God is power. I'm standing on the word of God. The word of God is power. I'm standing on the word of God. Standing on the word of God. Come on, everyone. I'm standing on the word of God. I'm standing on the word of God. The word of God is power. I'm standing on the word of God. On the word of God. The word of God is power. I'm standing on the word of God. The word of God is power. I'm standing on the word of God. The word of God is power. Pick your Bible. Luke chapter 4 as we stand to read the word in honor of the word. Luke chapter 4. Verse 21. You the reason why I'm living now. Reason why I live tomorrow. You have the great I am. The giver of life and peace. You have the great I am. The giver of life. You the reason why I'm living now, reason why I live tomorrow. You are the great I am, the giver of life and peace. You are the great I am, the giver of life. You the reason why I'm living now. Reason why I live tomorrow, you have a great I am the giver of life and peace. You have a great I am the giver of life. Okay, we can read Luke chapter 4, verse 21. Our topic today is enemies of prophecy. Are we there? And he began to say unto them, This day is this scripture fulfilled in your ears. Are we there? And he bear witness and they wondered at the gracious word which proceeded out of his mouth and he said is it not this joseph the son and he said joseph's son and he said unto them ye will surely say unto me this proverb physician heal thyself whatsoever we had had done in capernaum do also here in thy country and he said really i said unto you no prophet is accepted in his own country but I tell you of the truth, many widows were in Israel in the days of Elias when the heavens were shut up three years and six months when great famine was throughout all the land. But unto none of them was Elisha sent save to Serap, Serapta, the city of Sidon, unto a woman that was a widow. Let's read verse 27. And many lepers were in Israel in the time of Elisius, which is Elisha the prophet, and none of them were clean, save Naaman the Syrian. Maybe for proper clarity, let's read verse 17 and to 20, verse 17, so that when I'm teaching you can get that. And there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah, and when he had opened the book, he found a place where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord God of the Lord is upon me because 
He had anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He had sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives and recovering of the sight to the blind, to set the li at liberty to them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. And he closed the book and he gave it again to the minister and sat down and he, and the and the eyes of all of them that were in the synagogue were fasting upon him bless the reading of the word sit down balandociously on your enemy's head i'm sharing with us today on what i titled enemies of prophecies shot fire shout it again viewers you are on to our bible study where we study to show ourselves approved as a workman that needed not to be ashamed but rightly dividing the word of truth i remain your brother brother joshua again i thank you for being part of our live service you can follow us via logging into www.championroyalassembly.org or follow me on my official facebook page type joshua again ministries we have about two point something million followers please do discard people using my name asking you for hams and whatever we do not ask for arms via social media except via champions television if at all we, we are led to tell you to do that god bless you today our text is taken from the book of luke chapter 4 from verse 17 through 27 luke chapter 4 from verse 17 through 27 for proper comprehension and understanding and i'll be sharing with us on what i titled enemies of prophecy for any destiny to have longevity and connectivity and any destiny to be fulfilled our god will bring the ending from from the end and bring it to the beginning and so in other words for you to be a living relevant entity with an exceptional destiny our god will always speak about your destiny speak about your life speak about your career the devil does not fight anything without a future he fights anything that have destiny but i want to assure you your destiny will be fulfilled i did not like the way you are shouting it i don't like the way you are shouting it shout that amen like thunder jesus in one of his sermons did something very prophetic very abnormal very exceptional very extraordinary it was not the usual way he used to teach in a temple the scripture says when he got to the temple to the church they gave him the book of Isaiah. of those days you have what we call the scroll and then he took the book and he came to the altar and then he opened the place written about him may you find the place of your prophecy in this world i don't like the way you are shouting this amen well when i was studying overnight the lord said to me everybody on planet earth has a word in this bible for him not i mean there is a book and a chapter and a verse for your life and the day you locate that chapter that book and that verse then there is a fulfillment oh you did not hear me well see the reason why you are talking about your prophecy is because you have not found the prophecy now it is not a prophet that will make you find the prophecy the prophecy have to be revealed to you when the book is delivered to you the bible say as soon as he went through it he read the part the spirit of the lord god has anointed me of all scriptures in the bible there was no one jesus read but this one he quoted from all that scripture but this one was very significant he said the spirit of god has anointed me and do you know the meaning of christ it means the anointed one and that's why i say when you take anointing out of christianity christianity is no longer christianity because the word christian is a mockery word from pagan say these people look like christ so it's the plural form these are anointed people now the bible says after he finished he closed the book and sat down and everybody's eyes 
were fixed on him. What manner of sermon is this? Because for him to read and then went back to his seat to sit down, he preached to them from his seat. May you find rest after you receive prophecy. Oh God. Am I talking to somebody here? God begin to make me understand. There are prophecies you receive. You walk towards it. And there are the ones you receive. You don't walk about it. Oh God. Am I talking to somebody here? Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? There are prophecies you receive. You are the one trying to make it work. And there are the one. The day you read it. You discover it is fulfilled. Am I talking to somebody here? Somebody here, in less than a few seconds, you are about to receive instant prophecy with instant fulfillment. Oh God, am I talking to somebody here? So the problem is not the prophecy. The problem is acknowledging, discovering the prophecy. Because the day the prophecy becomes personal to you, it becomes fulfilled. 90% of our problem in the body of Christ is that we receive prophecy that we don't believe. Are you sure? Am I the one he's talking about? Is it going to come to pass? Am I sure? Now, why I say enemy of your prophecy? I'm not really talking about your prophecy. I'm talking about enemies of your fulfilled prophecy. The devil will not fight the prophecy spoken over your life. But he will fight the prophecy that is fulfilled or about to be fulfilled. Hello? Hello? You can have books loaded with prophecy. It doesn't threaten the devil. What threatens the devil is for you to go through it, discover it, and bringing it to fulfillment is the problem of the devil. That's why God can tell you, I will make you a president. It doesn't move the devil. But the day you begin to see yourself as a president, he gets angry. Oh, you're not getting me. I said you are going to be married. I said that document will be released. Yes, as you say amen now, it doesn't move the devil. It is until you go back and begin to personify and begin to hear now hear what Jesus said that moved them. He said, this day, not tomorrow. Did you hear me? Jesus said what? This day. Am I hearing somebody here? Can I prophesy? This day, this day, today, this very second, that prophecy over your head for the past 50 years is about to be fulfilled. Oh, Shaparaka. Somebody here, the prophecy over your head is coming to pass. It's coming to pass. It's coming to pass. I prophesy. It's coming to pass. I said that prophecy is 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 coming to pass. Am I talking to somebody here? Am I talking to somebody here? Sit down. Now, when Jesus read the prophecy, it did not get them troubled. When, it, when he read the prophecy, it did not get them troubled. They were not troubled. They were not troubled. But what got them troubled is when he said, this day, this prophecy has been fulfilled. They look around. And so, so is he the anointed? Can I say this? When the fulfillment of your prophecy comes, it doesn't look like it. Oh, when your prophecy is coming to pass, even you yourself, that is the career of the prophecy, and people around you will not agree that this is what God is saying. Oh. That's why I said 90% of successful people don't believe they are successful. You did not hear me well. That is why there is this unsearched desire to be great. They are rich and they are still looking for money. They are in position and they are still looking for position because they still don't believe that they are successful. Why will somebody be a president in a nation and still be looking for another position to become a president? Because he still believes that he's not successful. He wants to become God before he feels he's successful. 
today, inordinate desire of men, when they are successful, they don't believe. Say, can I say this? Some prophecies have come to pass in your life, but you have not accepted it. And as long as you are in a denial that the prophecy has not come to pass, the devil is excited. The greatest disaster on earth is not a man possessed with demons, it's a man possessed with ignorance. You do not hear me well. Oh, God, 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 God. They said, if you want to hide anything from an African man, put it in a book and give him. He will sleep with it for 10 years and not read it. The greatest problem of the devil in your life is when you begin to realize who you are. When you begin to discover your identity, your originality, your power, what God has given. So what Jesus did was to enter the temple. And when he entered the temple, he said, the spirit of God, may you find your prophecy in this world. Am I talking here? I'm giving you an assignment. Am I talking to somebody here? There's some of you here you don't understand, but you need to understand. There is one prophecy in this book about your life. The day you read that prophecy, you will not pray and fast. You will sit down and your enemy will be set on fire. I've taught you so many things here how to bring prophecy to pass. God told me when I was studying yesterday night, he said, this kind of prophecy, you don't bring it to pass by your work. You only discover it and it come to pass. Oh, hey God, you're not getting me. You are not realizing who you are. You are still fighting your prophecy because you have designed in your imagination how you want the prophecy to come to pass. But Jesus, what, do you know the problem? All the scribes, the Sadducees, the Pharisees, the teachers of the law, they have a way where this dramatic scripture will come to pass. They want to see the Savior appearing in the sky and then cloud of fire. That's why the Jews are still waiting. Some of them are still waiting for the Messiah to come. They never believe that the Messiah can be a child and the son of a carpenter. You are waiting for a billionaire to set you free. But your driver might just be your prophecy. Oh, People God have sent to set you free. They don't look like it. People am I talking here. People are signed to your destiny. They don't carry the quality and the standard you want. You look at them and say, no, this cannot be my man of God. You look at them and say, this cannot be my prophet. You look at them and say, this cannot be my wife. You look at them and say, this cannot be the one that will help me. But that was the problem they have with Jesus Christ. Because he said, this day, as this prophecy come to pass, and they know the implication of the prophecy. That it is only a Messiah that can arrogate that prophecy for himself. And they look at him and say, no! And hear what they say. Is it not the son of Joseph, the carpenter? We know him! Look at your neighbor and say, you don't know me. Oh, Shabakata, my Adoya. Am I telling somebody here? Tell your neighbor, you, tell your neighbor, you don't know me. The way you are talking, I, it's, like, it's like you are doubting who you are. Say you don't know me. Say it again. Say you don't know me. Say it again. Say it again. Say you don't know me. You might know where I'm coming from, but you don't know where I am now. And you don't know where I'm going now. Oh God, am I talking to somebody? You might know my father. My father is a carpenter. You might know my name. You might know I am Jesus, the son of the carpenter, Joseph. But you don't know who I am because who I am is only discovered in the word. I am the anointed of the Lord. This day has this prophecy been fulfilled. Can, can 
can I talk to somebody here? You are about to depart from your past. The fulfillment of your prophecy is a total turnaround from your past. And so when God is turning you away from your past, there are people trying to drag you back to your past. They think they know you, but they don't understand who you are. They don't know what you carry now. Because when prophecies are fulfilled, there are certain things that begin to happen. You begin to break protocols. You begin to be exceptional. Then your current life is completely opposite your past. They begin to compare and contrast you with your past. They say, are you not the one we used to see in that one room apartment? Then you tell them, no, 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 no. It's not me. It was my foundation. I may be born in a manger, but I'm no longer in a manger. Can I talk to somebody here? You might see me as that lady that used to sell tomatoes at the streets, but now I am not a tomato seller. You cannot call me by the name of my origin because I have left that foundation. The day I entered Champion Royal Assembly, I broke out of my foundation. The Aurora break me out. I have dealt with my foundation. The altar from my father's house could not hold me back. How dare you talk to me? I am not the son of a carpenter. I am a man of revelation. A man with the word. A man with the career. You are describing my past. You are not describing the fulfillment of my prophecy. Can I talk to somebody here? When you dare to be exceptional, some people will not understand. When you are doing exceptional things, some people are trying to make you ordinary. I might be born by an ordinary carpenter, but I am no longer an ordinary man. Hey! Ladies and gentlemen, my father was a retired soldier in Nigerian army, but I'm no longer a soldier in the barrack. I am now an army general in the Lord. Can I talk to somebody here? My father retired as an order rank, but here I am as a major general in the body of Christ. Can I talk to somebody here? How dare you compare me from where I'm coming? They said they know you. You had carry over in your cause. How dare you speak? with eloquency and wisdom tell them you don't know me you knew me as a dropout yesterday but I'm not a dropout today I am a fulfillment of prophecy hey hey somebody shot fire shot fire hey hey shot fire When I begin to exegete this scripture, oh, sit down, please. Then God began to tell me the problem was not Jesus, the problem was the people he was surrounded with. And God began to make me to understand the problem in this end time is not God, it's my children because of the environment they found themselves. Some people are telling you this is who you are, but I'm not here to tell you about what people say you are. Huh? I'm asking you, what do you say you are? Am I talking to somebody here? When I begin to study the scripture, I begin to ask myself, when Jesus stood up and begin to do, do some exceptional things, and as he was talking, they were looking at wisdom. They knew he never went to any of the institution, not even a university, not a theological school. But when they saw the manner of wisdom uh, that he was exhibiting, they looked at him and said, no, 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 no. We know his father. Father. The father is an illiterate. He doesn't know letters. So how come he speak with much worse? Or how come he become an orator? And Jesus was saying to him, to them, you might know my father, but you have mistaken it. My father is not Joseph the carpenter. My father is an upper father. I am not the son of Joseph. I am the son of my father, which is in heaven. Can I talk to somebody here? Jesus was looking at them and say, Joseph was just a caretaker. I am an adopted son of Joseph. This spermatozoa that fertilized me did not come from Joseph. It came from the Almighty God. Can I say this? You are a gift. When I read through the scripture, the Bible says, every good and perfect gift, it comes from above. If you came from above, they cannot tie you to the idol of your father's house. They cannot tie 
deny you to the shrine of your mother house. They cannot hinder your destiny. I feel like preaching here. Can I prophesy? What stop your father cannot stop you. How dare you call me from the foundation of my father? You cannot use the God of my father to tie me down. I am a son of the living God. I came. The Bible says, whatever is born of God overcometh the world. For this is the victory that overcometh the world. Can I preach to somebody here? What stop your father will not stop you. They cannot tie you with your past. You may be born in a manger, but you are not a manger. Can I talk to somebody here? They said you failed 30 times, but you are not a failure. This day, this day, has the scripture been fulfilled that you are out of the manger. This day, has the scripture fulfilled that you are no longer a crying woman, but a flying woman. This day, has the scripture fulfilled that you are not tied to your past. Can somebody shut fire? Hey! Hey! I thought I'm preaching to somebody here. Tell your neighbor you don't know me. Huh? Say you don't know me. I am not tied to my foundation. I'm not tied to my barriers. Somebody is coming out. Somebody is coming out. Somebody is coming out. I feel like preaching here. What stop your father? It will not stop you. What stop your mother? It will not stop you. Somebody shut fire. 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 Did people say you are the son of the carpenter? Tell them, no, no, you have mistaken it. My father was just a caretaker. I came through a day, Kitty. It's not my foundation. I came from heaven. From him that is from above, is above all. I prophesy, your star is about to dazzle your enemy. Your prophecy, the fulfillment, is about to dazzle them. Each time God is fulfilling a prophecy in your life, it might not look like it. People might mock you. People might talk anything, but tell them, I know what I know. The prophecy is fulfilled. I might sit down and look ordinary. Am I talking to somebody here? When an extraordinary man is manifesting in the midst of the ordinary, the ordinary cannot understand. Because the Bible said to be carnally minded is dead, but to be spiritually minded is life everlasting and peace. Am I talking to somebody here? Jesus said, we speak of what we know. He said, the wind bloweth. We no man know it where it comes from. So a day that are born of the spirit. I prophesy today, 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 in the midst of people that have lost you. This prophecy has come to pass. Huh? Hey, hey, hey. Oh Father, may you do something in my life that will make my friends to wonder. Some people will ask, we know him. How did he go to this level? Shortly after God lifted me up, people are asking, we know Joshua Igila from Odobo Barak. We know him from Rukuba Barak. We know him. We know the father. Yes, you know my father, but you don't know my future. Yes, you know my father, but you don't know my destiny. I dare you, let my enemy know my origin but let them not know my future can I prophesy your future is in the hands of God can you lift up your leg and shut fire hey! lift up your leg and shut fire hey! Hey! whatever they have used to tie you down is about to let you be shout that amen like thunder shout that amen like thunder Somebody is coming out. Somebody is coming out. Shut fire. Shut fire. The problem is when the exceptional steps into the ordinary, the ordinary gets irritated. When the exceptional steps into the normal, the normal gets unsettled. When a man with a future enters an arena with a futureless generation, the futureless generation try to drag him down to their level. When a man that carries the word enters a place where the men are wordless, they begin to try to interpret you, they cannot interpret you. Now can I say this? 
Because our God is too special. He will bring you from a, from a background where nobody can take glory over you. Then he will allow people that are fighting you now to know about you. So that when he lifts you up, they can bear witness that they know where you started from. sit down can you sit down please the problem of these guys was not that that jesus they were not faulting his teaching they were not faulting his ability of eloquence but they were faulting the fulfillment because they feel that if this prophecy was to be fulfilled not to a son of a carpenter and that is the problem most of you have your problem it's not that you are bad as a person. Your problem is the prophecy over your life that is fulfilled. There are some people who feel you are not qualified for it. And then Jesus said, you will say to me now. That's what they were thinking. Physician, heal yourself. That means Jesus could not perform any miracle at all. Except. He lay hand on few fox and left them. What does that mean? It means that in his own kindred, there was no miracle. Then God began to speak to me that no matter how heavy your prophecy is, you cannot sail and manifest in the midst of unbelievers. I call them unbelieving believers. They are believers, but they are unbelievers. They are, they are believers. But they don't just believe. These guys were, teach, they were, they were teaching scriptures, but they don't believe the scripture. Some of you here, the reason why you cannot affect too many people around your family is that the people around you think they know you. That's I used to teach it. I say, when somebody says he knows me, I say, you don't know me. I'm a mystery. Even me, I'm trying to understand myself. I don't, I've not finished I'm trying to understand. I'm sitting there asking myself, why are you like this? I cannot understand myself. So how can you say you know me? You don't know me. Because the day you know me, then you become my alpha and omega. And this is the problem. Anytime you are unpredictable, it brings storms. And what makes you relevant and exceptional is your own predict predictability. What it means, when people cannot predict what you are about to do next, what God is about to do for you, and how God is about to do it. When they see you do things that look dramatic, then they look at you and say, no, this is not the person we used to know. That is what destiny is all about. People should not know you. And people that claim that they know you, they don't know you. Um, uh, am I teaching here now? I'm going deeper now. Am I going deeper? Am I going deeper? Am I going deeper? There's one kind of set of people you cannot understand. They are prophets. You, you see, you can understand a teacher because a teacher can try to teach you to understand him, not a prophet. Because to be a, a prophet is prophetic. They can be standing and go say, turn now and go like this. So that's why I say, they can't understand themselves. How much more you understanding them? The greatest problem you can ever have around the prophet is to assume you know him. You don't know them. Now, because of the imagine Alpha and Omega. Who is Jesus Christ? Is he not God? Please, is he not God? How can God be in a place and not be able to perform miracles? See, let me tell you the reason why you have not received under your father is this problem. You think you know him. That's the problem. As long as you say you know him, you will never know the anointing. Jesus did not, he, he, said, he said, I know you are abusing me, physician, heal myself. I'm ready to heal. I will not do anything because I can't do anything in this place where you don't value me. The pastor's wife was sick. The pastor brought him to me. Brought her to me. I was here. 
And I knew that, that, that my son is into healing ministry. And I said, why didn't you allow your husband to pray? He said, no, 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 I don't, I don't. how can he pray for me? The wife was telling me in my presence, ah, 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 no, 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 no. If you pray for me, I feel I will fall sick more. The wife was telling me that in my presence. And then I told them to wait. I took them to the office because I was worried. I knew the grace. And God was speaking to me, don't touch her. Because the healing, our healing is not in your hands. It's in the hands of the husband. So I, when we got into the room, the office, I, told, I asked her, I said, what is wrong with you? Is it that you don't believe your No, no, he said, my, my husband have the anointing. I said, do you feel the husband is not clean? He said, no, 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 that's not it. I just feel that if he touch me, I will fall sick more. Then I sat her down. I said, as long as you don't receive him as a gift to your life, you will not eat from the gift. And that's why so many rich people who are rich in the family end up not being able to help people in the family because they suspect them that they are using their star. Not because they are using their star, but because they are not ready to accept the fulfillment of their prophecy, that the fulfillment of their prophecy is the son of the carpenter. Some of you, you are the son of the carpenter sent to that family, but they have not accepted you the way they are supposed to accept you. They are not praying for another prophecy to be fulfilled. And they don't know that the fulfillment of that prophecy is you. Why I finished counseling, she now accepted. Then the husband laid hand on her. She opened up her spirit. She fell down on the ground and started manifesting. Now the husband was afraid to touch her. I said, why are you afraid? He said, since in my life, I've never laid hand on my wife and she manifests. This is the first time. I said, because her spirit is not opened up for you. Then Jesus went forward. A prophet is with that honor. Oh, shaka balata okay, patuya. In his own, in his own, his own. Some of you here, you you even prefer to go to a small boy who is just starting ministry that doesn't know his left from his right. Who is submitting to your father to prophesy to you because a prophet is without honor, except in his own house. You will be here and hear testimonies, but you are close to the oil because the oil has become a stone of offense to you. The Bible says, he said, no, 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 me, I can't perform. So it simply means the greatest enemy of fulfillment of prophecy is the spirit of familiarity. And familiarity is a familiar spirit. In a body of workers around a great man that make them familiar, they become a familiar spirit. And that familiar spirit hinders them from getting the grace. Familiarity is not working close to a man. You can be far from the man and you are still familiar. So I hear people say, I'm, I'm going far from the anointing because I don't want to get close to my family. That's not how to get. The, fam, the issue of familiarity is the issue of the art, not the issue of physicality. Because you can be far and yet you are underestimating the anointing. Why the woman with the issue of blood touched Jesus Christ and was healed and the disciples were touching Jesus Christ's garment and no virtue came out was familiarity. One woman said, if I can only touch the hem and others were rubbing shoulder, anointing never flowed. There is no neutral wire that can carry current. Until you are connectable, until you become a positive wire connecting to another wire, you must understand you can be by the by the electricity, by 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 the transformer, and not be transformed because you don't tap, you are only rubbing shoulder. Oh, she don't hear me well. When you are rubbing shoulder, you are not tapping. The woman said, No, 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 no. 
I'm not here to rub shoulder. I'm not here to be a bodyguard. I'm not here to show that I am close to the man. I am here to tap. And she said, I don't want to touch his leg. I don't want to touch his body. Just his clothes. And the Bible said, as soon as she touched the clothes of Jesus Christ, Jesus stood and said, somebody has touched me. And then virtue had come out of me. And then Peter said, Master, why are you doing this now? I hope you are not having malaria. I don't understand. So I, Peter, keep quiet. I know what I'm saying. Somebody that is not familiar, that understand that I am exceptional and want to get what is inside me, that does not see me as his age mate, as his brother, as his younger brother, but sees me as Alpha and Omega, has touched me because I can sense virtues that come out of me. You can see you can see that what you are crying for you would have gotten it but the demon of familiar spirit familiarity from a familiar spirit has made you to be familiar to your fulfillment of prophecy now sit down please sit down please are you ready are you ready can i take you forward today i want to make some dangerous declaration anyone any enemy of your prophecy wherever they are that don't want you to eat the fruits of your labor i prophesy they are silent i prophesy i silence them oh. i say i silence them Sit down. Jesus went forward and began to say, Why he sat down? He said, People, you don't understand what I'm saying. In the days of Elias, the word Elias there is Elijah. In the days of Elijah, oh, there were many widows, and the heavens were shut for three and a half years. He said, But there was one of them that was different from every other person that dared to see the prophet as different and God sent him to only her God sent him to only her meaning that if there must be fulfillment of prophecy that is why 30 sick people can be in the service and God will only heal one not because God cannot heal her but because some of them came around an extraordinary environment and they are looking down on the environment and one of them say I am the widow in the midst of the famine I don't care what they say about you Elijah but I know you are a prophet of a living God am I talking to somebody here the word exceptional is gotten from the word except there might be 30 people that are struggling except you am i talking here am i talking here there might be 100 that don't believe except you am i talking to exceptional people here you step into the next level shut fire sit down let me go further jesus begin to speak and said in the days of elysius what does that mean in the days of elisha he said there was a man called Naaman. he said there were many leprous men so many men that were leprous in fact in the history of the bible every leprous one before jesus came and cleaned the ten lepers every one of them in the old testament all died except for Naaman, who encountered a prophet by the encounter except her he encountered even where he doubted the prophet he made up his mind and said if the prophet said go to river jordan and bath who am i and the bible said seven times he dipped himself in that dirty water and he came back like a brand new baby if you can dare to follow a prophet you don't question prophetic exercise you press you begin to ask yourself if i can get a result am i talking here sometimes what brings the fulfillment does not look like what you calculate 
sometimes what brings the fulfillment does not look like what you calculate ladies and gentlemen i begin to study after that time because jesus said by by this by this reading of the scripture this scripture has been fulfilled this was the beginning of the hatred of the pharisees of the leaders and the teachers and the rabbi against jesus christ am i talking to somebody here because he dared to carry anointed there was no rabbi in the days we're talking with a guide in israel and he said in the days of jesus jesus was not the only rabbi that there were all also other rabbi that had followers but because he had anointed his anointing pulled their crowd to him Himself. you know when your tree begin to produce fruit there will be battle am i talking to somebody here now i want to deal with enemies somebody say enemies i don't know who they are enemies of your next level holy ghost sit down jeremiah chapter 11 verse 19 let me show you some scriptures let me play with some scriptures and you see some revelations, then we pray. Now, look at this. Jeremiah 11, verse 19. Jeremiah 11, verse 19. Are you there? Put it. Jeremiah 11, verse 19. Can you put that quickly? He said, But I was like a lamb or an ox that is brought to the slaughter. And I knew not that they had devised devices against me, saying, let us destroy the tree with, with the fruit thereof, and let us cut him off of the land of the living, that the name, that the name, that, that his name may be no more remembered. Um, can I talk to somebody here? When I was studying this scripture, the Lord, the Lord said to me, 90% of people who carry prophecy are like lamp or ox. Lamb there talks about innocency. Lamb there talks about purity. Lamb there talks about your dimension of smallness but heaviness of prophecy. Ox there talks about speed. The speed in which the lamb ran. So the reason why you are under attack, they feel you don't know what you are doing. But in the midst of you are nobody, they saw the prophecy heavy on your head. Here what the Bible said. The Bible said they brought you as a lamp or ox to the place of slaughter. Who want to slaughter my destiny? Am I talking here? Who want to slaughter my destiny? Wherever they gather to slaughter your destiny, I paralyze their bear. I paralyze them. Anyone that want to slaughter your destiny because your lamp is producing today, I paralyze them. Uh, the way you are shouting, I don't like it. I say, I paralyze them. I say, I paralyze them. I say, I paralyze them. Am I talking to somebody here? They know you are about to have speed. Am I talking to somebody here? I say, I paralyze their activity sit down ladies and gentlemen what does it mean to slaughter to slaughter means to kill what does it mean to slaughter to slaughter means to scatter tear and disgrace and what does it mean to slaughter to slaughter means to reduce to nothing what does it mean to slaughter to slaughter means to take from a hero level to a zero level what does it mean to slaughter to slaughter means to strip you of your dignity majesty and glory glory and splendor the bible said they took 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 you they took you to a place of slaughter and why who did they took a lamp and the ox the lamp the innocency the purity the right it is not that you have committed a sin it's just because you are a lamp and the reason why they took an ox is because the ox is running very fast because of the speed can i prophesy somebody here they will not kill you the way they kill your father i say they will not kill you the way they kill your father i prophesy what stop your father will not stop you yeah! Shut fire! Shut fire! 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Sit down. Let me show you some things in that scripture. Put that same scripture. I was reading it throughout the night and God was speaking to me. The Bible says, and he said, but it was like, it was like a lamp or an ox that they brought to the slaughter. And I knew not that they had device devices. You see, when they took you, you don't understand because somebody might be saying, but I don't know. Uh, nobody has taken me. No, no. The Bible says, when they take you to the abattoir, you will not know. You are not hearing me. When they take you to the place they want to kill you, you are asleep. You don't know when they took you and why you don't understand. They might not carry you in person, but they can carry your picture. They might not carry you in person. They can carry your underwear. They might not carry you in person. They can pick the sand of your church. They might not carry you in person. They can carry your clothes. They might not carry you in person. They can carry your name. Why you are sleeping in the night? The Bible said the divine because of your prophecy I prophesy every enemy of your destiny my name is Joshua Igilla I prophesy may they catch fire may they catch fire I prophesy why they gather in the night and concoct what they want to do the Bible said this man said I knew not when they took me you cannot know when they took you but can I say this when you are sleeping they took your name when you are awake they took your name ah they took the sand of your feet they took the sand of your house they took your underwear your ring of your wedding got missing they took your ring they went to your album they took the picture of your children they lay it in the witch coven because of your prophecy they came to your church they took the sand of your church they came to your house they took the sand of your house they took the picture of your children who is fighting me because of my prophecy but if God be God my name is Joshua Igilla by the aurora on my head in the name that is above all name I prophesy enemy of your destiny I shatter them I shatter them I shatter them I shatter them enough is enough you fighting my destiny what are you waiting for enough is enough you cannot scatter my life you cannot hinder my glory somebody shut fire sit down they are not going to carry you in person but they will carry something that belong to you makwatubayata Ladies and gentlemen, the altar they are taking you to is called the altar of slaughter. Where destinies are slaughtered, a spiritual abattoir, where they scatter and pieces your glory, a spiritual abattoir, when they cut off your marriage, cut off your joy, cut off your destiny, break out your children, turn your children against you, scatter your child, break you down, bring down your finance, hit up your head, it's called a spiritual abattoir. But if God be for God, if he's on the throne i know i know you are innocent of what happened but if god be god today it is shattered am i preaching to somebody here who took my destiny where did you carry my name to i am tired of this level but god is god let all men be liar but god be truth lift up your leg and shut fire sit down put that same scripture let me open your eyes to other two revelations put the same scripture the bible said but i was i was like a lamp or an ox that is brought to slaughter and i knew not that they devised devices against me saying let us destroy the tree with the fruits thereof let us cut him off god begin to speak to me the reason why they want to destroy you is nothing else they waited for the tree to have fruit when the tree was fruitless they never cut the tree when they know it was time for you to eat the fruit of your labor the bible said they came 
came to your tree they destroyed the tree they they what destroy and cut mean they took it from the roots huh? after they destroyed it while the tree was on the ground they begin to cut it who is cutting down my destiny wherever they have gone because you are fruitful to cut down your destiny i prophesy holy ghost Ladies and gentlemen, enemies of your destiny, they will not fight you when you are nobody. They will fight you when you are somebody. They waited for your tree to be ripe. Just as when you took in, after 10 months, after 10 years, no baby, the month you took in, the six months they brought miscarriage you don't understand as soon as you got the job and you are getting salary and you are about to eat the fruits of your labor they cut you off am i talking to somebody here you started business from the scrap when you are supposed to eat the fruits of your labor they cut you off turn to three people and say lord enemy of my fruitfulness silence them Am I talking to somebody here who is fighting me? Sit down. The worst kind of enemy you have is not the enemy that fights you from the womb, but the enemy that waits when your tree has fruit. You're not hearing me. They wait for you after you have built the house. When you are about to enter, they kill you. They wait for you after your children have graduated and they are now working. When they are supposed to answer you, they are not calling you, Mama, you are a witch. Huh? Am I talking to somebody here? Am I talking to somebody here? Am I talking to somebody here? They wait for you after you have labored as a pastor. When it's time for you to eat the fruits of your labor as a Jew, they poison you. Enemy of my fruitfulness, who is waiting for me? Wherever they have devised, if God be God, I prophesy in the name that is above all names, I scatter their power, I scatter their power, wherever they gather, I scatter their power. Yeah. Oh, Paratoke Barata, am I preaching to somebody here? They cannot cut you off. Somebody here, you are like a tree planted by the water. Anyone trying to stop your fruit? Holy Ghost! Sit down. The Bible says, they sat among themselves. We cut him off so that nobody can remember him anymore. That's the mission. When you carry every prophecy and it is fulfilled, that's what happened. Now, hear, 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 hear what God told me when I was studying the scripture. He said to me, he said, son, who is he that want to slaughter you? That is the question. Ladies and gentlemen, it is not the act, it is the who. You are shooting arrows, parodic bullets, from a gun parodically, brrr, scattering, just discharging and wasting your bullet. See, impact can be maximum if focus is in place. Yeah. You're not hearing me. That's a military term. You, you, you are shooting bullets everywhere. No, 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 no. You must know where the enemy is and refocus and channel and balance and crack your gun and make sure that your, there is much enough ammunition as you are shooting it is going to that direction then i begin to study the scripture genesis 22 verse 3 who is about to slaughter you i want to show you now put, put, put the scripture i will show you some few things and then we'll pray please these scriptures i'm giving you you go and use it to pray he said and it came to pass these things that it was told Abraham, saying, Behold, say, you say, you say, you say, you say, and 
Isaac his son and cleaved the wood for burnt offering and rose up and went unto the place which God had told him. Please, ladies and gentlemen, who took Isaac? You are not hearing me. I say, who took Isaac now? Who? Eh? Who? Don't call Abraham his father. The power fighting you is from your father's house. When they want to slaughter you, they use somebody that you know. You did not hear me well. The Bible said that Abraham, what sin did Isaac commit? Nothing. His father bundled him. In Abraham's time, it was God that was leading him. The people that are tying you down to slaughter you, demons have led them. The Bible says he tied him. Who is taking you? See, somebody must take you. You, you don't understand. Oh, let, sit down. Let me, let me explain this for you. Let me explain this. Nobody will slaughter you without tying you there. They will drag you there. After they have taken your name, you know, the, the, you see, the greatest thing God gave Jesus Christ was not power. No, no, no. Stop. Stop. It was not power. Power was, power was normal. What God gave you was not wealth. was not money. It was a name. Wherefore God has given him a name. For God so loved the world that he gave us. He gave us. His son was a gift. What he gave to the his son was a gift to us. But what he gave to the son was a name. The greatest legacy a father can give to any son is not money, is not house, is not building, but a name. That is why if a father takes you to his altar and introduces you to the world, that is enough that money. Oh, you are not hearing me. You are not understanding me. It's a name, a name, a name. My father, while he was alive, would say, Ronti remember the remember the child, the son of who you are. A name. Abraham took Isaac. He saw. <laughs> you don't know? Have you seen it? The amount of your bigness will determine the amount of people dragging you to slaughter. If it is a goat, one person will drag it. If it is an ordinary chicken, one small guy can carry it and be running. But hear this. If it is a cow, Malu. You will see four people. The reason why there are too many enemies, you are an heavyweight. Gosh. Oh, you are not hearing me. I say you are an heavyweight. Why they tie your leg, tie your hand, you are shaking. That's why they are trying, dragging you, you are coming. The reason why you are in this trouble and distress is that the enemy know you are an heavyweight. Who tied me? They are dragging you. The Bible says, Isaac said, Father, where is the lamp? And Abraham said, The Lord will the Lord, the Lord will provide. But can I talk to some Isaac here? That your father took you to slaughter. They are taking you to an abattoir. I don't know, I don't know the power from your father's house because of your prophecy. Because you are the next generation that will produce Isaac and Jacob. And out of Isaac and Jacob, there will be the twelve tribe of Israel. They know what is in your loins. And they want to shatter your life. Anyone in the altar of slaughter, Holy Ghost! Sit down. Number one, who took you his altar from your father's house? <laughs> Another thing. Number two, Genesis 39, verse 1. When I read that, <laughs> there was a man called Joseph who took him, his brothers. Some of you, you, you have been taken to an altar of slavery by your brothers. Genesis 39. Put, 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 put this, put this, put this, put this, put this, put this, put this. Ah, bros, kabalatea. And Joseph was brought down to Egypt and Potiphar, an officer of Pharaoh, captain the guard, and Egypt and brought him in the hands of the Ishmaelite, which, which had brought him down either. Who are those who sold him? Who are those? 
who are those? How many of them? How many? How many? Ten. Benjamin was at home. Ten of them gathered against one star. You don't know? It's the fulfillment of your prophecy. Your pro and why did they took him to the altar of slaughter? Why? I saw the 11 star, the sun and the moon bowing down. That's all. They took him. They took him. You don't know the people fighting you. You think they're ordinary. They're from your blood. They are not too far. You are the one looking outside for enemies. In Ulelo Tawa. It's inside house that there is enemy. You are looking too far. You are praying too much. You are looking for an animal, an enemy with a with a with a witch cap, with a masquerade face. No, the enemy that is dealing with you is smiling. And why are they fighting you? Your prophecy. They sold him. You are watching me. Are you surprised? Another enemy number three. Who took another man to the place of slaughter? John 7 35. I so, saw, yeah, 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 hear this. When they devised and looked for a way and they could not find it, John chapter 7, verse 35. So, and they said, the Jews among themselves, Whether he go that we shall not find him? And he go on to disperse among the Gentiles and teach the Gentiles. Jesus Christ. They said, Where this guy go, we cannot find him. We need someone. We need someone to take us so that we can take him to the altar of slaughter. Because we can't find him. He has be suddenly become invisible. Even when he's standing in the midst of the, pub or the public, we look at him and his disciples, they look equal. Their Esther is the same. We don't know who he is. And so they disperse and they look for a man called Judas. And Judas said, no, 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 no. This thing is very easy. Very easy for me to this man with a fulfilled prophecy to you. Just follow me. Give me some money. And after the money, I will deliver him. And the Bible says, he parceled Jesus, deliver. When you read down, Papa Aquintan. But it kiss me, you embrace me and show me love. And you identify with me, but you are this bitch. Why? Because of prophecy. Am I talking to somebody here? Somebody shot fire. Fire. Put verse 36. Put verse 36. Are you watching me? I'm showing you some things here. When is that? Ye seek me and ye shall not find me. He that ye cannot come. Jesus was talking. Can I say this? May my God hide you. Your enemies will not be able to find you. Why they are looking for you to slaughter you? See, the Jews would have not been able to catch Jesus Christ if not for Judas. They would have not been able to know who Jesus is if not for. When they came with all their military, Peter and all of them stood with James, all of them stood around Jesus Christ. Because the, the, there is a level of impartation that comes between a son and a father. You cannot differentiate. They were looking at Jesus like this. They could not. But Judas, who is so close, he said, I know Jesus. He have a dimple here. If he does smile, to go in him. I know him. Don't worry. Just allow me. The one I kiss. Who is, who is betraying you to slaughter you? Watch this. Sit down. Let me talk to you. Let me say something to you. Have you heard people say, my hand is not there. I've never touched you. Yes, they've they did not touch you. But oh, Bright, come here. Stand here. Stand here. Okay. You're going to give me a slap. Now watch this. He's not watching me. He's not seeing me. Then, I'm behind. Slap him. Go to his front. Now, who did that? 
Who did that? But you did not see me. Who is bright seen? He's seen what? Theophilus. But the one that controlled Theophilus is innocently sitting down. This is what we call the altar of Judas Iscariot. The one that controlled him. You are not seeing him. But the one attacking him. Some of you are fighting unnecessary enemy. Who don't even know why they are fighting you? You don't get me. Any wind that confronts you directly is useless. The real wind, you don't know them. Thank you. Go back. Who is fighting me? Who is fighting me? Hey! Somebody shot fire. Acts chapter 3 verse 2. It's called the altar of association of businessmen. These are people who are fighting you for their profitability. They know. They, they take you to the altar to slaughter you. Because as long as you are an handicap, they are better. As long as you are crying, they can profit. Their own altar. Like, put it down. Act 3. Act 3 2. Put it, put it, put it, put it, put it. I, I don't want you to think I'm quoting from my. And a certain man, lame from the mother's womb, was carried, whom they led daily at the gate of the temple, which was called beautiful to ask for arm that enter. How many of them? How many of them? How many of them? They, they, they. How many? This, this enemy is not like that of Isaac, a father. No. This enemy is not like the brothers of Oh, 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 of Joseph, we were 10. This one, there are many. The Bible cannot even mention them. They, they are so many. And what did they do? They will carry you to where you will disgrace yourself. They will carry you to where you will beg. Now what stop they, if they were 50, to have contributed money to give this man to start business? But as long as this man can beg, why they kept them, why they keep the man uh, after that they go far and they begin to laugh. And after they finish, they carry the man home and give the man food and collect the remaining. They will never help you, but they will market you as a boutique cloth for show glass. They will ensure that you are rendered incapacitated, unfit. They will bring you down, but they will make sure they advertise your trouble. In the bedroom, they will cry with you. But when it is time, they will take your trouble and put at the entrance of the gates and they will advertise it. You will think they are helping you, but they are advertising your trouble. I said, somebody must carry you to the place of slaughter. Who was carrying this man? They. They carried him. Carry me. Carry me down. The man thought they are helping. And I asked myself, why will they not? All of them, they have a car. They are at the end of the day, they will say, we put fuel in the car. The fuel in the car was 20,000. We, 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 we change your clothes today. The plate we use is 5,000. They do that and say, okay, now for now, you eat tomorrow. And they did that for a 30 years old man for 30 good years. And they were so committed daily, not monthly, not weekly. The altar of slaughter. The altar of slaughter. Who wants to slaughter me? Who is carrying me about? Today I prophesy. They're about to be slaughtered. Can I show you another one? That baffled me. This one, let me show you this one. You need to see this one. Second King chapter 6, verse 28 and 29. When I read this overnight, it moved me. Put this, put this. Let me show you. Let me show you this one. I know you will not see it this way. And the king said unto her, What hell at thee? And she answered, This woman said unto me, Give thy son. That we may eat him 
today and we will eat my son tomorrow. And so we boiled my son and did it him. And I said unto her, on the next day, give thy son that we may eat him. And she had hid her son. When I went through this scripture, I said, so this can be in the Bible. Two women. The Bible says they appeared before a king. And two of them had an issue. They had their first son, first son. And these two women were actually witch. Because there's no way you can kill and boil and eat if you have not tested the meat before. And then they agreed themselves. This is in the Bible. When I hear some, some people preaching against deliverance, hey, who, who, who want to eat my meat? They, they eat meat. They, they eat meat. The Bible says, nah, yeah, you, you know they say for Bible now? Two of them, they agree. They agree. The one said today, these two winch, one was a wise winch, one was a foolish winch. So winches, there are foolish winch, there are wise ones. The wise one said tomorrow, let us eat my own. But today, you could eat your own. And because the wise one know that the foolish one son has a better destiny than a own. So she said, let us eat your own. The innocent son came into the house. The two witches, they captured the son and took the son to the altar of slaughter. They slaughtered the son. And the Bible said they boiled him. Professional wish. This wish are digital one. Some they eat raw flesh. This one, they eat boiled flesh. The Bible said they boiled the meat and they ate it and joined their life. And there was no complaint that the meat was bitter because they were used to it. This is a story of an open wind case judged by a king. When the tomorrow came, the foolish witch woman called the wise one and say, where is your son? Let us do, is it Osusu? Is it Osusu you call it? How do you call it? Oh, is it, how do you call it? Is it, how do you call it in Igbo? Osusu, yeah, that's Osusu. Contribute, I contribute. Now it is time for you to contribute your own. The wise one went to look for Joshua Igila and look for Aurora, where should we hide our baby? Oh God, am I talking here? Am I talking here? Why the foolish witch was looking for the wise one baby? The Aurora had covered the wise one baby. Can I say this? Some of you don't know why you are alive. The anointing covered you when you are supposed to be swallowed. Who is trying to eat my meat? Tell your neighbor I am covered. Who is trying to eat my meat? Tell your neighbor I am covered. I am covered. For the Lord has hidden me. The Bible says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Then I shall say that the Lord is my refuge and my fortress. In whom shall I be afraid of? Some says, some trust in chariot, some trust in horses. But we remember the name of the Lord our God. I prophesy, what stop your father will not stop you. Wherever they took your name to eat your meat, tell your neighbor my meat is bitter. Huh? Hey! Jump up and shut fire. Shut fire. Shut fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sit down. Who told you it's not in the Bible that winches eat meat? How do I know they are witch? How can a woman carry a baby for nine months and allow another woman together, they hold the baby neck, strangled, cut the baby, cut the baby, cut the leg, cut everything, scatter the bit. Then put it in the pot and boil it. Is it the... I hope you are looking at your Bible. I'm not, am I formulating the story? 
Maybe you are not, because I'm interpreting it, your eye is opening now. They ate comfortably and used toothpick to remove the meat in their meat. Oh, shamalataya. And none of them ever said the meat was bitter because they were witches. And then the wise one said, Nala. And the boy who was the mother, who was the son to the wise one say, you can't eat my meat. My blood is bitter. Because I am a fulfillment and an embodiment of prophecy. My mother might be a witch, but I cannot carry witchcraft. I am not a suya in the hands of them. You cannot slaughter me the way you slaughter others. There are people that are killable. There are people that are undiable. Am I talking to somebody here? You are a fulfillment and an embodiment of prophecy. What stop your father will not stop you. Can I prophesy to somebody here? I prophesy. You shall not die. I say you shall not die. The foolish wish went to the wise one and said, where is your son? And the wise one said, I cannot find my son. And the Bible says, she said, she hid him. And there's no way. You know witches are very wicked. There's no way. But destiny in the life of the wise witch son was crying out. You can't die like the foolish one's son. Can I prophesy? The witch that want to tie you, I expose them. The Bible said, now we have escaped from the snare of the fallen. <laughs> no wonder in Exodus chapter 2 verse 2 the Bible says that the mother of Moses hid him what does that mean it simply means that God can hide you no wonder when the police of Egypt were looking for Moses they could not catch him why because the guy's destiny is hidden may God hide you they will look for you, they will not find you. They were looking for Jesus to capture Jesus. The Bible says he pressed through the crowd. Am I talking to somebody here? This day, this day, the prophecy is fulfilled. No one can kill you. Enemy of my prophecy, what are you waiting for? Shut fire! Shut fire! Yeah, 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 yeah! Yeah! Jeremiah eleven nineteen again. As I close by saying this to you, they devise to slaughter you, but they will not get you. They try to cut down your tree, they will not cut it down. Why are they trying to cut down your tree? Because there is a fruit on your tree. They try to, to erase you so that nobody can remember you no more. But can I prophesy? This is the beginning of the beginning of your destiny. Your light is shining far above principalities and power. Lift up your leg and shut fire. know the depth of what I am doing is not ordinary no man can do these things except the Lord be with him I am one prophet in the midst of prophets who don't play with this with the word I'm not a prophecy machine I am a word based minister It is it will be frustrating to undermine my capacity of wisdom the gentility of the dove does not show that the dove does not carry something whenever the lion is quiet in the jungle 
and put his leg forward and put his eye forward. He is very hungry looking for a prey to capture. Don't pass in front of the lion when it looks like it is quiet. Something is going on in the brutal focus of the lion. Be very careful when be very careful when you are around the great man. Don't underestimate who is standing by you. I have learned this thing in life and I'm very careful not to undermine anybody around me. Because the person standing by you right now could be your helper. Don't kill your prophets. You might not have a prophecy. Each time you fight your prophet, you are fighting the fulfillment of your prophecy. Maybe in this meeting where Jesus opened the scripture, he would have prophesied all right. But because they begin to embattle the embodiment of prophecy, he only spoke about himself, not about them. There is a word for you here. Nobody can stop it. And the show prophesied word of God is the written word of God. That is why when Jesus entered the temple, he consulted the logos and acted on it prophetically with a rema. The background of the rema should be the logos, the foundation, the logos, the written word. Every revelational truth is directly derived from this written word. Anything out of this written word is men philosophy and psychology. Your problem is not receiving prophecy. Your problem is accepting and recognizing and discovering your place in the prophecy. Are you ready to pray? See? My greatness started when I begin to accept who I am. One of the greatest havoc the devil did to me in my growing days was inferiority complex. The day I ate it up in the place of prayer and in the place of revelation, I became an epistle to be recognized to. Hear me. Don't allow anyone to smaller size your bigger prophecy. You are the embodiment of fulfillment and a collection of dangerous, crazy prophecies that are very radical. I call them crazy prophecy because it makes men look as if you are insane. Everything I have ever become is accepting prophecies that look crazy in the ears of men. Are you ready? So, my problem today is not to prophesy to you. It's for you to accept what you hear. Not even receiving it. You can receive the prophecy by hearing it and not accept it. The Bible says why he spoke those things, they were impressed. They marveled. But their impression of the prophecy brought doubt. They marvel not because they love it. They marvel because they believe it is not possible. You can speak and people hear you, but they are not moved. They marvel, but they don't accept. Say, my father. My father. Let my prophecy come to pass. Let my prophecy come to pass. Open your mouth and pray. My father. My father. Let my prophecy, let my prophecy come, to pass. come to pass. Let it come to pass. Let it come to pass. My father. Let it shook. Let it my prophecy let it come to pass. Pare, 
My father, let my prophecy come to pass. Let my prophecy come to pass. Let my prophecy come to pass. 
In Jesus' name. Amen. Sit down. Your prophecy will come to pass. Amen. Sit down. You see, to be prophecyless is to be futureless. The fulfillment of your prophecy makes you an heavyweight. Anyone you see sitting on the throne, being relevant, prophecies spoken over their head had come to pass. May you not hear it without experiencing it. I just heard in my right ear that 13 months from now, there are certain things you begin to see that you have not experienced for the past 30 years. I'm, Amen. I'm taking in the Amen. realm. I'm taking in the realm of the spirit. I'm seeing forces that have fought your life for the past thirty years. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And that's why nothing stays in your hands. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And every project you have ever labored for, they crumble down in your hands. Yes, sir. But I have a good news for you. Amen. There is a transformation that has just taken place. Amen. Stand there. There's a council of witchcraft. Yes, you. You're watching me. Doesn't believe that him, the one God will talk to. There's a council of witchcraft that is dealing with two of you in the family. Yes, sir. And now what I'm seeing is that it is what we call shattered destiny. What I mean is, nothing is working at all. Yes, sir. If you don't answer me, I'll leave you. Yes, sir. Nothing is working at all. Because, yeah. because what I'm seeing is, you have dreams, series of dreams, and these dreams, whenever you have them, everything you are pursuing scatters. Yes, sir. And then I'm also looking at what is going on in the family, whereby nobody is able to build any outstanding house. Yes, sir. But as I speak to you now, I... I'm projected into your future by prophecy. Amen. And God said to me, I should remove two evil plantations. I'm seeing evil trees. Evil trees. They're already planted. You see, what I'm talking about is when winches enter into your future and begin to build roadblocks. They enter, not your past, they enter your future and begin to build roadblocks. So the trees I'm talking about is not ordinary trees, it's spiritual roadblocks. To ensure that you die the way you are and never have an improvement. Come here. Come here. Mazupra Kosiata. Today I break that. You know there's a problem with you. Temperament. Your temper. When you, yes, get, when you get angry, it's yes, so heavy. Yes, sir. Break. I'm seeing a check of Zenith Bank. 
Stand up, stand up, please. Stand up, please. I'm seeing a check of Zenet Bank. And God is showing me there's a kind of financial breakthrough Amen. that is coming. Amen. Because for the past six years, there have been struggle in your finances. Yes, sir. And then from December to now, it is even worse. Yes, sir. But can I say this? I'm taken by the angels of prophecy. And I see myself with you in Zenith Bank. Amen. And I'm seeing millions different from what you thought you have ever touched. Amen. You may not know how. You may not know when. He will do it okay. 347 star. Your star had been tied down to an Iroko tree. Oh, Jesus. Then I'm taken in the realm of the spirit. Oh, Jesus. I see six women dancing around a tree. Oh. Then I see one. Oh. I see one just a little bit your height. Oh. Then I'm looking at her associated to hey. one family member. Hey, Jesus. She was the one that took you down there. Can I say this to you? Oh. There is nothing you have ever done for the past six and a half years that have worked. Yes, 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 Everything yes, yes, has yes. scattered. Hey, Even hey. listen, look at me. Even your marriage is shaken. Ah. Sometimes you look at yourself, you feel like, let me just walk out. Things are very difficult. Is it true? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Then you are supposed to be in America now because oh. of what I am seeing. But everything has scattered. Is it true? Yes, yes. It is either you yes. see yourself in the village. Can I talk? You see yourself in the village? Is it true? Yes, 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 or you yes, see yourself wearing your school uniform? Yes, yes. I or you it. see a masquerade chasing you? Yes, sir. Yes, or you see yourself in the midst of dead people? Is it true? 100%, sir. Is it true? Exactly, sir. I am taken in the past. There was something that would have killed you. If oh. not for God, you would have died by accident. Oh, yes, you yes. remember that accident? Yes, yes. It was yes, a sir. narrow escape. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Who is holding my destiny? I break it. Stand up. You, 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 yes. I'm seeing powers fighting you. Put the mic. Go to him. I'm seeing powers fighting you. Am I communicating? Because yes, everything that has to do with job, 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 scattered. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Is it true? Yes, sir. You are a confused human being completely. Yes, you never know what to do. Everything you lay your hands, scatter. Yes, there was a time a friend introduced you to a business. Am I communicating? Yes, sir. Yes, this sir. thing yes, has to do with something wine, 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 wine. Yes, sir. You try to say wine, it did not work at all. Yes, sir. Everything you lay your hands, scatters. I'm taken in the realm of the spirit. I see myself in Enugu. Yes, I move from Enugu. I see myself in Kaduna. Yes, Does it yes, make sir. sense? Yes, Does it make sense? Because I'm taken again. I see there was a time you tried to gather money in terms of trying to do something that has to do with marriage. But yes, it's scatter. Yes, the marriage did not work. Yes, you borrowed money here, gathered everything, scattered. Yes, Is it true? Yes, sir. I hear in my right ear. Tell Christian his destiny has changed. Yes, I'm are you Christian? I'm Christian. I'm Christian. Are you I'm just Christian. watching like that? Whatever they did against you, I break it. Somebody shot fire. The powers from your father house. Stand up. I hear celebration in your family. And I see you dancing with your husband. And the Lord said he's restoring the fortune of the family. Stand up. The Lord said to me, even I, the Lord, I will restore. 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 The yes, the kaka worm, the pama worm, the caterpillar have eaten. Because of late, your financial destiny has been down. Yes, sir. For the past two years, it yes, has sir. not been like that. Yes, sir. Four years ago, you were in money. Yes, sir. But yes, now sir. you are not in money. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And since yes, you get back to your baby or children, yes, things have been very difficult. Yes, in fact, your wife finds it difficult to believe in you. Yes, and in fact, it is affecting yes, the marriage now. Yes, sir. Is it true? Yes, sir. Can I say to you, yes, yes, your sir. glory has been restored. Yes, I am checking in the realm of the spirit. Yes, I'm saying you, you are confused. Yes, sir. Should I do ministry? Yes, sir. Should I leave my job? Yes, sir. Don't leave your job. Don't leave ministry. Yes, 
I see you do ministry. I see you do your job. Are you just watching like that? Can I talk to you? Your wife is always complaining about her health. There's something affecting her. It has to do with the stomach region. Is it true? Maybe you told me about it. I'm checking in the realm of the spirit. And as I begin to look at you, I saw September 11. That was when they want to claim the life, the life of your wife. But I enter September 11. I close the gate. I close the gate. Are you just watching like that? Come here. If God be God, anyone they are programmed that you will bury your wife. I cancel the arrow of death in the name of Jesus. Come here, run down here. I'm checking in the realm of the spirit. I saw where they tie your left leg. They tie your left leg to something that has to do with an ancient old grinding machine. I used to well, that. You used to see it. Yes, and God told me what it means is that you will not go far more than where you are. That is why every attempt to cross where you are to a better money, it has never worked. Can I prophesy? I want to kill that witch now. That witch that tie your glory. Wherever they tie your glory, in the name that is above all name, I paralyze their power. Somebody shut fire. Hey! Sit down. Who is holding my destiny? Wherever they have fought your glory, whatever they have done against your glory, enough is enough. They cannot tie you down the way they tie your father. They cannot tie your glory down the way they tie your father glory. Enough is enough. Somebody is coming out of this struggle. The louder the amen, the quicker a miracle. Hey, hey. Stand up. You worry so much. Yes, sir. Is it true? Yes, sir. You are even confused. Yes, sir. You are an injured woman. Is it true? Leave her there. Is it true? Yes, because what is going on maritally around your life, you cannot explain. Yes, sir. Is it true? Because I'm seeing, I'm seeing a lot of confusion. And then this confusion is in your marital life. Is it true? I'm checking in the realm of the spirit. I see your husband here. I see you here. Is it true? Of recent, he doesn't want to see you at all, at all. In fact, he doesn't want to pick your call. He doesn't want to do, have anything to do with you. I'm checking in the realm of the spirit. I see myself in Abia. And I move from Abia. I see myself in Umoya. Is that where you are from? Then I see you struggle and struggle and struggle. In fact, the house rent is expired. You cannot pay. You are now squatting with a friend. You told your husband he has refused to send you money. Is it true? I hear, oh, is it, uh, is it Ozoma? Is, that's your name. Uche, is it Uche Chuku or something like that? I want to, I want to pray for you right now. That power is about to let you be. Come here. When did you come to Abuja? Where are you in Abuja? Zuba. Zuba. Yes, sir. Your husband is here. Yes, sir. But you can't see him. The heart of the king is in the hands of God. Can I tell you what is going on with you? There is an evil garment on you, like a rag. Uh -huh. And then I saw demonic feces poured on you. Each time the husband look at you, even your image, it irritates him. Yes, sir. He, he tells you, I don't want to see you. I don't love you. Yes, sir. You know, before, when you cry, your tears moves in. But now it doesn't move him a bit. Yes, sir. In fact, your tears provokes him to be more, he's more annoyed when you cry. Yes, sir. This is not ordinary. I'm going to take you into the oil pool now. Do you know what it means? No, sir. You will go to the pool of Bethsaida. That's all. That's all. That's all. You, you have an automatic ticket from me. That's all. 
Ah. I told you about the pool. You're coming back. Don't worry, you'll bring him here. Don't worry. Put him, put her on camera. He's coming here with her. Even though he's watching and he's saying, never, it can never happen. It will happen. Don't worry. Don't worry. It will happen. You are just annoyed. When you sleep, it will happen. <laughs> so I say, oh, right oh. This thing is not only teaching the Bible. See, I just finished the Bible now. Now we are in the realm of the practical. The kingdom of God is not in words. It is in the demonstration of the power of God. Somebody shout fight down. Fire. Enu miyoma calling hallelujah so banto go hadura Ha miyoma calling hallelujah so banto ye ra ye Enu miyoma calling hallelujah so banto go hadura Can I feel you Ha miyoma calling hallelujah so banto ye ra ye Enu miyoma calling hallelujah so banto go hadura Ha miyoma calling hallelujah so banto ye ra ye Enu miyoma calling hallelujah so banto go hadura Ha miyoma calling hallelujah so banto ye ra ye Enu miyoma calling hallelujah so banto go hadura Ha miyoma calling hallelujah so banto ye ra ye Enu miyoma calling hallelujah so banto go hadura Ha miyoma calling hallelujah so banto ye ra ye Enu miyoma calling hallelujah so banto go hadura Ha miyoma calling hallelujah so banto ye ra ye your prophet is to declare your date of burial. I say what? To fight your prophet is to declare your burial date. When you see a man do extraordinary things that you cannot explain, don't take him ordinary. There's something he knows that you don't know. Be very careful. Be very careful. Not to touch what is too dangerous than you. The most dangerous dynamite are usually smallish in nature. God has given you gifts. And whenever God gives you gifts, celebrate it if you don't understand. I have a revelation of the word that we ditch for you tomorrow. I've prepared it. It's a good soup. Which, 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 which of the African soup is very wonderful? Afam? Egusi? Ogbolo? Okoho? I'm very sorry. Makwa kwa ya kwata. Mo supre kanima ya doskia. There's one Yoruba soup I'm trying to remember. Begiri! 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 I've prepared some wonderful begiri. Afam. Okoho. Mian Kerikeshi. Mian Kuka. Thank you. Somebody shot fire. You know, sometimes we say spiritual things, it looks so simple, but they are very important. What I'm trying to say is that. There's something about tomorrow's service. There's something I've, God gave me that is so, you might, it might be a, a word you've never heard in the dimension. I'm so excited to give you new things. Somebody shut fire. 
Wherever they have locked you, I open you up. Yeah. Sit down. Yeah. Sister, you know I didn't mention one thing to you. You hear me? Don't worry, your children has come. Amen. That's why I say you go to the pool. Don't worry. Amen. You hear me? Amen. You. You, you are, you are burdened, worried. I dream of you. I use your name, I naked. I say if you are a man of God, oh, you will see the water passes through. And that's why I came oh, to you. Come down. I use your name. Oh, oh can I, I pray for you? Oh, come down, come. Come, down. come and hug me. Oh. And if you are a man of God, today you will put an ass to all my problems. And I've come through the God oh. that serves. Oh, stand up, stand up, man. Now, can I talk to you? Talk to me. Your blood pressure has gone up too much. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what has happened to you in the past? Because it, has, it is just going up, 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 up. Every day. That's why sometimes you can't stand too long. Oh. And you are not even treating it. You are not controlling it because... I don't, I don't because there, can I talk to you? Yes, sir. Because there's a lot of confusion. Confusion. Oh. I'm going to pray for you. This battle is going to end. Who is fighting me? I hear something like victory, 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 victory. Stand here, stand here. Who is fighting my destiny? Wherever they are fighting you, they will let you be. Now I'm going to pray for you. This battle is going to end. Amen. Are you shouting that amen for her very well? Hear me, hear me, sister. You will not die. Repeat after me, I shall not die. I shall not die. Say, I shall not die. I shall not die. I shall not die. I'm a Dalin. I shall not die. I'm a Dalin of Satohame. I'm from a dustin. I'm a Rayani Shama. They did not allow me to. Put it, put it, let it go. now, they destroy my cage. They don't want to pay me. I don't have money. I don't have anything. I'm naked. I call the Vigila in the night. That if you're a man of God, you will call to me. You will rescue me. I will be your daughter forever and ever. I'll be calling on your She name. wrote them down. Lord, oh, my God. Hey. I declare it is settled. Free. You, you there. Yes, sir. There's strange battle going on around your life. They have yes, frustrated sir. the works of your hands. Yes, sir. You work very hard. Try to gather. Yes, it scatters. Yes, sir. I'm talking yes, about sir. the crowd. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The members are not staying. Yes, sir. There is a call of God upon your life. Yes, sir. But people, the members are not staying at all. Yes, sir. And this has affected everything around yes, you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because I see myself in a dose stage. Yes, sir. I see how she precisely. Yes, sir. Is it true? Yes, sir. And this is a ministry. Yes, sir. It is not working at all. Yes, sir. This is Holy Ghost Fire Ministry. Yes, sir. Is that true? Yes, sir. It's true. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, sir. Is that the name of your ministry? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just 45 members yes, struggling. Yes, sir. Yes, you sir. left a prophetic ministry to start this ministry. Yes, sir. And since then, it has not been easy for that you. Yes, sir. That is why I'm here, yes, sir. Come here. That is why I'm here, yes, sir. You want some Aurora? Lift up your hand. She want, he wants some Auroros. Pick him up! Pick him up! You like the Aurora? Pick him up! Something is moving! Something is changing! Something is moving! Something is changing! You! You with a uniform! Come here! You have, you have escaped! Bullets several times. Yes, sir. Let's keep bullets. You, you are just you are just a product 
of miracle. Yes, sir. It's like after you just left from where you were trained, direct to the war front. Yes, sir. Now you are not even in Meduguri. They've taken you to Yola. Yes, sir. That's my is it true? That's, That's your correct posting. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. You are telling me Meduguri is not Meduguri. You are posted to Yola now. Yes, sir. And in fact, it's getting you worried. Yes, sir. Because yes, you have stayed in the war front yes, so much. Yes, you sir. think you will just even come back here and relax and stop hearing fume, 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 fume. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But can I say this to you? Yes, sir. You can't die. Don't be afraid. There's no death around you. Yes, sir. It can fall around your side, fall by your side. It will not near you. Amen, sir. Pick him up. You are the God of awesome wonders, tested of your power. You have shown me so much mercy. Much more than I desire. You are the God of us, so so much mercy. Much more than I deserve. Holy shine, Yano. You are so much mercy, much more than I desire. Sit down. Jesus is the sweetest name I know. He's always just the same. So praise his holy name. That is the reason why I love him so. Jesus is the sweetest name. Then the morning star, you are fairer, much fairer than the lily that grows by the way. You are precious, more precious than gold. You are precious, more precious. Stand up, sister. You are a product of prophecy. Amen. I'm taking into your future. When I'm about to step in, I saw six angels opening some circle doors. Amen. And I looked through them. Amen. I saw what God has written and destined about you. Amen. And I saw that you have not even fulfilled even 5% of them. Amen. What a glorious destiny. Immediately, some part of your destiny was about to start fulfilling. They attacked you. Yes, sir. There was a sickness they used to attack you. Yes, that sir. you cannot eat directly. It yes. was through your yes, neck. Sir. Here. Yes, sir. They had to yes. pass pipe through here. Yes, sir. That was where you were eating from. Yes, sir. Can you show that very well, please? Yes, Is it true? Yes, sir. And after that, it was a miracle that God saved you. Yes, sir. And your hair 
it has never been the same. Yes, sir. Is it true? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then I see a journey since 2009. Yes, sir. God said to me, what they have closed is opening it now. Amen. Why are you shouting that amen? Are amen. you jealous of Amen. God is giving Victoria victory. Amen. Does it make sense to you? That is your name. Yes, sir. I, name. I see myself in Lagos. Yes, sir. I see Festac. Yes, I see myself in Cross River. Oh my I see Ogota. Yes. Does it make sense to you? Yes. yes, sir. Can I pray for you? Yes, sir. What they took away from you, God is restoring. Amen. How? Amen. Jesus, you love me too much. Oh. Too much, oh, too much, oh, excess love, oh. Jesus, you love me too much, oh, too much, oh, too much, oh, excess love, oh. Can I feel you quiet? Oh, Jesus, you love me so much, oh, too much, oh. To excess love, oh. hey, Jesus, you love me too much, oh. too, too much, oh. too much, oh. excess love. Oh. Excess love, oh. hey, Jesus, you love me too much, oh. too much, oh. hey, too much, oh. much oh. excess love. Oh. See that, Jesus, you love me too much, too much, oh. too much. Oh. Excess love, oh. sister. Congratulations. Amen. I was still talking about your future. I see twins. Amen. And the Lord said to me, What they have closed, I have opened. Amen. And I walk into your future, I see a healthy woman. Amen. And the Lord said to me, This affliction will not rise again. Amen. And I say this, even the woman that caused that battle, she's already paralyzed. Amen. Uh, you don't know. The Lord said, I should tell you, if you know what I have done for you, you would have been rolling before me knowing that I am Alpha and the Omega. Can I say this? Huh? God has fought some battles for you. And you never knew that he has fought. If it were not be the Lord that had been by our side, we would have been consumed. The enemy would have asked us, where is our God? I prophesy the God of vengeance is fighting for you. I say God of vengeance is fighting for you. battles 
she's free. This God is powerful. Nothing seems to be working around you. Yes, daddy. You gather its cutters. Exactly. You are even looking for where to do ministry now. Yes, daddy. I'm talking about looking for a venue. Yes, I'm looking for You are going from one shop to another shop. I went there on, the, on Friday. I'm looking at you in, is it Oka? Yes, yes. That's where you're looking for shop yes, up and down. Daddy. Yes. It's Oka and Umbra. Yes. Because I'm seeing you moving from one place looking. In fact, you are confused. I'm confused. You, are, you never know what to do. I don't know. Because what to everything do. that has to do with your ministry is locked up. It does the reason why you came, you saw me in the dream praying yes, for you. Daddy, yes. That's why you came. You are my father. Uh, yes. yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. I have said it. If you're a son, you're a daughter, and you have a father like me. And you are complaining. You must be a witch. Yes, you see, it's only witch that get connected to this kind of grace and complain. Yes, Every day of my life, people will keep calling, Father me, Father me, Father me. That's because there is a grace. Yes, if, if it is not there, they won't come. Yes, Fatherhood and sonship is not bread and butter. It's called destiny locations. Yes, and I pray for you. You are confused completely. I'm confused. <laughs> but you are not confused. A pray for. That's when you went to your altar. That's, that's your wedding day. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is that when you got married? Yes, sir. When you are marching to the altar, you are not confused. Yes. Yes. I shall I be confused? Yes. Oh, I shall not be confused. No teacher can tell you in the book of any modus this one. You can't see it in any teaching, teaching uh, 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 what do they call it, syllabus. This is called the prophetic. This one is getting some people confused. You can't fight the prophetic. Talk and talk and talk, it has come to stay. I've told some pastors, if you are not called to be a prophet, leave those who are called to be. Shine your shine, I shine my shine. Simple. Do your work. Don't stop crying. All this prophet, don't get angry. Don't run us down. It's like a lawyer complaining why a doctor is, a surgeon is dissecting somebody's stomach and bringing out so many things and joining it back. What you don't know, you don't know. Face your work, I face my work. That's why I don't run any pastor down because I don't, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not the one who call them. But I don't know why some people get themselves they pop nose in our affair. Because they are minister of pognosious affair. <laughs> Please don't write that down. It's not fine in any lexicon. Come here. <laughs> ah. Can I say this to you? Miracles is happening now. Amen. Where's your wife? She's at Oka. She's at Oka. Yes, sir. You decide to take a stroll without your queen. Yes, sir. Why did you leave your queen at home? She couldn't follow me down. I, didn't, I know she could not follow you. I know that. That's why I'm asking you. The question is that why did you know? <laughs> Daddy, I just came in from two, but I'll bring her next time. Please bring her next time. Yes, eh? sir. Sister, you are watching your bros here. She's watching. Right She's now. watching. She's now. watching. Call her the name you used to call her, Jerry. My baby. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. I like this one. <laughs> I used to think that it's only brothers and sisters that call men, baby. I don't know men too have diverse the mission. This is a return, retaliation. Call, you're calling her baby. I told her that when I come here, I will, I will receive an answer. She's you, watching right now. She's watching. Yes, sir. God has actually called you. Amen. I receive. And, and, and don't be confused. Thank you, daddy. You will dig for some time in Anambra. After some time, the springboard will take you to the real place. Where you will find more water. Daddy, I got the revelation. I got it. Yes. I wrote it down. Yes. Where God told And then me. there's somebody you need to go and apologize to. Yes, sir. You know where you are coming from. Yes, sir. You need to, yes, sir. You need to go and apologize. Yes, sir. sir. You see, the problem with most sons and their father is that you claim to be right. But if actually put in contents, you know you are wrong. You see, it is easy for a son to talk about his father, but fathers don't talk about their sons. 
If we are to bring a court of law and put father and son down, if fathers begin to talk, some of you, what you hear, you keep quiet. Go and apologize. I will do that, sir. You hear me? Yes, sir. I know what I'm saying. I know what you have said. Yes, sir. Just don't go there and do judgment. Yes, daddy. Papa, I am sorry. Thank you, daddy. I know your father is watching now so that you will not say you have come for a new father. The father now is now abating you for wrong. No. Yes, daddy. You see it. Thank you. Pick him up. Pick him up. Hey, look here. Paka! Bring him here. Come here. Pick him up. Look here. Pa! Hey, in la tobe tu. You are the glory as God. Alabara. Alabara. You are the mighty God. And he will you. You are the glorious God. You are the glorious God. You are the mighty God. You are the mighty God. And he will you. You are the glorious God. Alabara. You are the mighty God. You. you are the glorious God. Alabara, you have the mighty God. And in the top it's you. You are the glorious God. Thank you. Why are you confused? Thank you, Jesus. If I don't talk to you, you are confused. And Completely. The con and the confusion is coming, even you and your wife are even arguing. Yes, is sir. it true? It's true, sir. Because you are working with the ministry now. Yes, sir. And this is four years now. Yes, sir. Is it yes, true? Sir. Yes, sir. You are correct, sir. Your father, Igala. Hey, hey. Your mother, Ituba. Yes, sir. I hear praise. Hey. Is that your name? That is, my name. is that your name? That's my name. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank Do you know something? Jesus. Do you know something? You have a music ministry. Hey, yes, sir. Songs comes to you. You are good at composing songs. But something is happening. You don't know how to reconcile the word ministry and the singing ministry. Yes, sir. So you told your wife that what is going on is that I think I am a singing evangelist. Uh, yes, sir. That I want to leave this place where I am yes, sir. and go and start singing. Yes, sir. Then your wife wants you to leave the ministry and go to a full-time pastoral calling where you be on your own as a pastor. Yes, sir. And now you are confused whether you are just to be singing all over. Can I say something to you? Yes, sir. Yes, you have a singing ministry, but you are a Dave. You have a Davidic anointing. So it's a multi-purpose anointing. Oh. An anointing to pastor, an anointing to prophesy, an Jesus. anointing to sing. Oh, God, oh, God. Are you just, are you just watching like that? Somebody shut fire. Shut fire. See, sit down, sit down, sit down. You see why you need... A father, a prophet that can speak to you and talk to you directly. He said, there is no Bible, there is no Bible chapter that can give him direction like this. This is where you need a prophet. The word that is written is called the Logos. When we are prophesying now, it, is, it does not have contradiction with what is written, but is giving him a direction. Your wife is watching, eh? So don't go, if you go into music alone without carrying the word and the prophetic along, you will suffer. Ah! Thank you, Jesus. You need, you see, you see why I say you need to know what you carry. Because you are smaller sizing your capacity. You are supposed to be a Gulfstream jet and you have decided to be a Volvo. Ha, you're getting me. You are smaller, size your capacity. When an aircraft 
that can take 200 passengers has reduced itself to six passengers. You don't know your capacity. That is why you should consult your manual to discover your engine capacity. Mayamo Simaladuya. Kopelia te koko koporikete. Ke kwa swa kwa ikwa kwa ekalakusia. Power. Le krushika to me yekede. Sufli kanimalo dosike prodiskeya. I prophesy. Somebody's changing level. So many things around your life is not working. Stand up. You don't even understand why it is like this. Job, there's a problem. Yes, sir. You are you, maritally, there's a question mark. Yes, sir. There's real confusion. Yes, sir. People that you started with have gone ahead of you. Yes, sir. Some of your colleagues have married you. Nothing to show. Yes, sir. Your family, one, two, three, four, five. Yes, sir. Eh, is it true? Yes, sir. Things are just very hard and difficult. Yes, sir. But God said to me, changes is coming. Amen. Amen. Can I talk to you? I'm taken in the realm of the spirit. And God said to me that I have answered. Amen. Am I communicating? God said, I have answered. Then I begin to ask God, what does this mean? God said to me, some of your prayer points, especially prudence. Does it make sense to you? Yes, sir. Because I'm seeing documents moving from this place to another place. Yes, sir. And I'm seeing things that had to do with immigration yes, sir. completed. Yes, sir. Does it make sense to yes, you? Yes, sir. is my daughter. Oh, yes. Because I'm taken in the realm of the spirit. I'm seeing you labor, 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 labor. I'm seeing children everywhere. Yes, sir. Here, here, here. America, here, 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 here. I'm looking at. I'm looking at what God said to me that in the next three years, your fruits that have been ripe will begin to come into the basket for eating. Amen. What does this mean? God said, you see, what I read in Jeremiah 11, 11 19 is a prophecy for you. Because I'm seeing all the trees around you ripe. They will not cut them down. Amen. I'm talking about your children. They will not cut them down. Amen. Then I'm taken into the company of the family. Then I'm seeing some strange powers trying to fight the work of your labor. There are some staff that want to take what belongs to you. Am I communicating, my sister? Yes, because the Lord said to me, this affliction will end. Amen. Am I talking to somebody here? Yes, there are some sensitive things I don't want to say publicly. But can I say this to you? That arrow in your body is leaving you now. Amen. God has given you a man that is hard working, but in the midst of enemies. I'm mm. seeing myself yes, in Anambra. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I'm seeing a lot of battles. Yes, sir. I'm seeing this man working hard from one building yes, to another building. Yes, sir. There's something that had to do with real estate. Yes, sir. I see something like George. I move forward again. I see another battle. God said to me, today it ends. Amen. You remember Esther in the family, in the Bible? Yes, sir. You remember Esther? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because I've seen yes, Esther. Yes, Does, is that your name? Yes, yes, Maybe you have talked to me before. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I look at you. I see Anthony. Who is Anthony? Yes, you are Anthony. Yes, I see you in the US. I see you walking, 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 walking. This is 20 years in Boston. Is it true? This is one, two, three, three children now. And this is battle confusion, battle confusion, battle confusion. Can I talk to you? There is a call of God upon your life. And that's why you came. You came to know where to go and how to do it. Am I prophesying here? Somebody shut fire. Intentional, never failing. All things are working for my good. It's intentional.
are working for my good. It's intentional. It's intentional. Never failing. Never failing. I don't have to worry cause it's working for me It's working for me It's working for me I don't have to worry cause I don't have to worry cause It's working for me Yeah It's working for me It's working for me to worry cause I don't want to worry cause it's working for me it's working it's working for me it's working for me For your husband Amen. too big that I can't say publicly. But see, it, it can I say this to some of you here? Every glory always have a battle. I want to silence some spiritual battles. Amen. See, I quoted Jeremiah eleven nineteen because it is something that the enemy is trying to do. Let us take them to the place of slaughter. Let us cut down their trees. God said, your trees with fruit will not go down. Amen. I hope you know as I'm prophesying to them, I'm talking to you. Every tree that is ripe here, it will not go down. Oh. My name is Joshua Igilla. Every tree that is ripe here, it will not go down. Your business will not go down. Your health will not go down. Your marriage will not go down. Your joy will not go down. Can you start fire? Viewers, wherever you are watching me from, your tree with fruit will not go down. Your tree with fruit will not go down. Whatever the enemy has programmed, that you should go down today i prophesy your tree with fruit will not go down that business will not go down that job will not go down that marriage will not go down i prophesy be fruitful no evil shall touch you the sun shall not meet you by day neither the moon by night now you are escaped from the snail of the forest. i declare right now arise and shine Wherever you're watching me on Facebook, you're watching me on Champions TV, all over the world. I hear you are free. Your tree will not go down. Your life will not be cut down. Your health will not go down. Your wealth will not go down. Your children will not go down. Your husband will not go down. I hear freedom. Come here. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Mighty name of Jesus. No more battle. Somebody shot fire. I'm seeing 11 months, 11 days. Stand up, come here. 11 months, 11 days. And God said to me, like a wind that turns and spins. That's how I'm going to turn your life in the next 11 months and 11 days. Amen. Amen. You think I'm excited? You no, 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 no. I saw a wind just spinning like this, and the Lord said to me, "I will turn it. I will turn it around." Amen. What you think is not possible, you become a proverb in the mouth of your enemies. Amen. 
because they'll begin to ask is it the son of the capital because god is about to surprise you ah, in the mighty name of jesus thank it i'm seeing a level of financial breakthrough coming oh god I supra The money is coming. Come here. I'm seeing a strange power from your father house that is always taking anything that is supposed to give you joy. I saw three things in your life that were put by God in your hands and the enemy plugged it out. And God said to me that this year will not end. I will put testimony in your lips. Oh, ah, pick him up, pick him up. Take it. Come here. I saw something like an evil garment that was placed on you. And I begin to look around. I saw something red around your head. And that's why there's always depression. Depression, depression. Is it true? Yes, Today the battle is over. Pa, I declare you free. Come here. Come, I'm seeing what nobody else is able to do in your family. The Lord said to me, yes. I am making you to do that. Amen. Then I'm checking in the realm of the spirit. Amen. I was shook like an arrow to your future. When I got to your future, I saw a house. Amen. I saw another house. Amen. And this house were sitting next to each other. Amen. They look like a twin duplex. Amen. And the Lord said to me, what nobody else has done Amen. in terms of real estate in your family, Amen. will I put in your hands? Power. Somebody shut fire. Fire. Shut fire. Who is holding my future? Who is holding my destiny? Somebody shut fire. Stand up, my sister. The Lord said I should tell you the fears. They are over. This affliction will not rise again. In the name of Jesus. There's something that has to do with your private wear that have been taken. That's why every of your menstrual cycle is a war. Come here. You shall not die. Stand up. This affliction and testimony is guaranteed. In the name of Jesus, somebody shot fire. If you are not a wind, shout that fire like thunder. Shout fire. Stand up, everybody. Let us pray. What does today's sermon? What does the topic? Enemies of my prophecy. And I said, not just your prophecy, but what? Your fulfilled prophecy. Thank you, Jesus. God is changing stories here. I prophesy to these ones. The way you are receiving, I don't know whether you are receiving. I prophesy. That altar that took your name, scatter. If you don't shout that amen, I'm suspecting you. That altar of conspiracy, I break it. Amen. That altar of confusion, I break it. Amen. Equatuplecushata. Sister, come here. This is the this is the last time you will go through this pain. Because I just saw people dancing around you celebrating. It's your time. Come here. God said a new chapter is open for you. It will not happen again. The affliction end. Come here, brother. Your story change in the name of Jesus. Wave your hands to Jesus. Mm -hmm. I believe Oko la yeje baba to mole sonami Oko la yeje o baba to mole sonami Oko la yeje 
Baba Chomo le Sonami O Kukula Yejao Baba Chomo le Sonami Losopre Kotoske Lift up your hands and thank you Momori Ore Jesu Oba Oba Chomba Nila Oshé, Oshé, oh, Baba, Mo More, More Jesus, Oba, Oba to Manila, Oshé, Oshé, oh, Baba. Mofi bobo refun bata bata laiku iba komi romo oba ta bisaye lift up your heads and just worship god you know you're going to sing this song and then after that, I will take your offerings and there we go. You are a divine project. I'm a divine project. project. I'm not to, to be, be abandoned. abandoned. I'm a divine project. I'm not to be abandoned. Hey. I'm a project to my God. Until he finishes work. Oh, Can you sing it, everybody? I'm a divine project. I'm a divine project. Yeah. I'm not to be a bad. I'm a divine project. I'm a divine project. Yes. I'm not, I'm not to be a bad. I'm a contract. I'm a contract to my God. He will never abandon me. Until he finishes work. To be a band, I'm the divine project. I'm not to be a band, I'm the contract to my God. He will never abandon me until he finishes war. Prophesy. Pick up your offering and lift it up. 
You are a divine coach.